thought that I was over. I'm like, ooh, you niggas tripping. I'm with Wink Loke in Brooklyn. Like, ooh, these niggas tripping. Locomotive here with PowTV.net. You already know what it is. Locomotive. It's the world. Yeah, we here with Wink Loke in the studio. You working Sup. hard. Yep, yep. So, let's go with this CTE thing. Like, how did this whole thing come along? Like, I'm, um, it was out of nowhere. Like, to me, it was just out of nowhere. Like, one day it was Wink, and the next day it's the world. Like, this shit is oh, crazy. Nah, it didn't come out of nowhere. <laughs> Basically, um, Jeezy, Big Homie Snow, he's supposed to do a show in New York and Brooklyn, and, um, he was tweeting, niggas was tweeting about it, you know, and then uh, Twitter went into an uh, uproar. Shout out to everybody for that. And um, they start at his manager, Carvin15. Shout out to the homie. Um, and um, they just start adding him, telling him, yo, he can't perform in New York without Wink Low opening for him. So, you know what I mean? He hit me up with a DM. He was like, yo, I ain't gonna front. He kept it gang, so he was like, yo, um, nigga, I don't know you, my nigga. Like, I don't give a fuck about nothing. Like, we gonna do what we wanted to. I was like, cool. Well, it kept going on, you know. He asked me to send him some music. I sent him some music. And um, from there, he was fucking, you know what I mean? Fuck with me heavy, you know what I mean? He flew me out, Miami. And then, you know, I still didn't, I ain't me snow at the time. I just, me and Carmen just got cool. You know, I ain't feel comfortable in the beginning, you know what I mean? Them niggas, just, you know, I ain't feel comfortable. Them niggas just deep, you know? Every time I turn around, it's 60, 80 of them. Like, I'm, you know, what's up? Like, I don't know what's going on. And, um... From there, like, he hits me up every day. It's like, it's like my big brother, you know what I mean? I don't have, you know what I mean? He always hit me up, text me every day, make sure I'm all right. And then um, when TM 101, uh, the tour started, um, that's when everything went into place, you know what I mean? I was on tour with them, you know what I mean? Shout out to that. So you said 101, so it's been like, what, five years? Five, nah, six nah, years? Nah, 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 the TM 101 tour, that just happened. Oh, the 101 tour, oh, okay. Yeah. That he had in New York and everything. Yeah, once they he first went to New York and did it ever since then, I've been on board, you know what I'm saying? On the tour with them. And then shit just been good, you know what I mean? When I say shit been good, you know, fly me out. We just, just I've been enjoying life, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's a blessing from God, just enjoying life. It's like, what's the biggest thing you learned from Jeezy since you've been around him, working with him, or um, whatever? Like, sometimes, like, when you're around big homies, you ain't even, they ain't even got to say much, you know what I'm saying? You just pick up off the aura, you know what I mean? So, his aura that he gives off is, like, dope. When I say he the realest nigga alive, huh? he's really the realest nigga alive, you know what I mean? Like, he really care about his homies more than anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, he keep them doors open for his homies. I mean, got a hundred niggas around and you looking out for a hundred niggas, you know what I'm saying, making sure everything is all right, it can't get no realer than that, you know what I mean, it, it, it can't get no realer than that, you know what I mean, that's just me, and I think that's what I'm trying to do myself, like just opening doors for others, you know what I mean, give others the opportunity, 